Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial for AutoCAD 2017. Uh, today on this video we're going to be looking at drawing arcs, some more of our basic shapes. So we'll start a new drawing, uh, as always click on templates, uh, ISO named plots and we're ready to go. Again if we zoom all we'll just get into the limits of the drawing where we can work comfortably. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create uh, a cube, not a cube, a square uh, that is 50 mil uh, on each side so I'm just going to pick an arbitrary point here and go 50 mil across 50 mil up 50 mil across and I'm going to close that up so I've got a square there what I'm going to do now is look at the different arc functions that are available to us now there's quite a lot of different arc functions we're not going to go through all of them because uh, that would get quite tedious but we're going to look at some of the uh, the more important ones so first of all we're going to look at the three point arc so this is similar to the three point circle that we looked at in the previous video uh, I've got my object snap on you'll notice down here and I've got it set to end point uh, so we can use that quite comfortably at the moment so to create our three point arc uh, we simply select the three points that we want the arc to pass through and it will always pass through all three of those points so there we've got an arc uh, that passes through those three points so remember an arc is a part of a circle so if we were to continue that round it would form uh, a complete circle so that is the three point arc uh, up next we've got start center end so here as is suggested by the name and remember if you're ever not sure what your next move is look at the command line because there'll be instructions down here telling you what to do so here we're picking the first point of the arc so where we want it to start so I want my arc to start here I want the center of it to be here and I want the end point to be here so that's created uh, an arc using the start uh, center end method and next up is the start end radius method so what we'll do here is uh, pick start end radius so if we uh, pick our start and end point and then specify a radius of uh, say 50 we end up with an arc that looks something like that so that is our start end uh, radius method and the final one that we're going to look at in this video uh, is the start and direction uh, method so start and direction so what we're going to do here is pick a start point pick an end point and then pick the direction that we want the curve to go so if we want it to go that way it'll look like that if we want it to go that way it'll look like that and again you can alter this to pretty much however you want it to be uh, but by picking specific points you create a very specific uh, arc there so as you can see arcs are pretty straightforward so those are the four methods that we've looked at in this video i hope this was of help and as always if you have any comments or feedback then please let me know thank you very much goodbye